This video is of a bicycle ride in San Francisco, California, USA on Bosworth Street from the Green Marker at Liddell Avenue westbound to O'Shaughnessy Boulevard. In the 2,000 foot distance there are 75 feet of climb. I'm John Allen. I was riding with a video camera facing forward on my helmet and another facing rearward on the rear rack of my bicycle. Whenever it's safe to go, I can't see from where I am. San Francisco cyclist Bert Hill is riding ahead of me. The inset view is from the rear camera. I'm going to flip it over so it looks like the one in a rear view mirror. We are riding now in the position suggested by shared lane markings like the one Bert is about to ride over. This lane position invites straddle passes like this one. These SLMs are definitely in the wrong place. With the on-street parallel parking here, motorists must merge left to overtake bicyclists. To give you the idea of where I would ride. It would be better for bicyclists to have a climbing lane here. But under these conditions, it's better to ride farther left, as I'm demonstrating, to encourage motorists to merge fully into the left lane and to discourage close passes. Bert's purpose with this ride, though, is to demonstrate the designated line of travel. Bert checks for traffic and merges left to continue on Bosworth. It's preferable for the bicyclist in the rear of a group to initiate the merge, so a motor vehicle won't split the group. But Bert is demonstrating here and I'm just following him. The through lane here is very narrow and the right turn lane very wide. Bert would like to see a bike lane between them. Car back. The shared lane marking here is misplaced. I pull over to the right here. Lane width is now ample and vehicles drive over the shared lane marking to overtake us. Bert demonstrates riding over shared lane markings following the intersection. There is enough lane width for a car to overtake me, but not Bert who's riding over the shared lane markings. This is a bus route though, and our lane could be even wider by moving the center line closer to the other side of the street. Bicyclists going fast downhill should ride in line with motor traffic. Finally, when there is no oncoming traffic, the car crosses the double yellow line to overtake Burt. There would also be more usable street space here if it were not taken up by parking spaces, here on a downhill curve with poor sight lines. The shared lane marking with the green background in the oncoming lane is, however, appropriately placed. Bert now approaches a location where bicycle traffic is directed onto a wide sidewalk. I have serious problems with most sidewalk type bicycle facilities, but this is an exception. O'Shaughnessy Boulevard is a long steep climb. The lanes are none too wide. There is no cross traffic and the sidewalk is ample. Okay, Bert, I'd like to shut the cameras off. We're fit, but we're older guys and our average speed on this ride was six and a half miles per hour. Here ends our video. Thanks for watching.